once you believe who is inside of you, the life of a lion inside of you, you the cat, you and I are a cat. Okay? The life of a lion, unless you believe and develop the consciousness. Everybody say, develop the consciousness. Practice the truth. Practice the truth. Renew your mind with this truth. Renew your mind with this truth. As you keep renewing, as you keep practicing, what do you want to The moment you start practicing this consciousness, you know what the devil will do? He will make you fall down. The moment you start believing and confessing the word, I am healed by stripes, I am healed, and suddenly you will feel some sickness in your body. It's, you know, take this as a warning because you need to know the tactics and the tricks of the devil, okay? So he will purposefully do it so that you can shake. Aha, uh -huh, see, what was taught what, what was taught to you was wrong. If Christ is dwelling inside of you, why are you getting sick? No, 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 you don't have enough faith. No, 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 you did this sin. So, you know, this sickness attacked you, this problem came to you. Hallelujah. These are all the tactics and the tricks of the devil. So in the previous verse, no? do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? Jesus renewed his mind so much with his truth. Okay, Jesus was 100% conscious in, wa in walking in his truth. That's why when the devil came and tempted Jesus, what was the first thing he used? If you are the Son of God. He touched the very identity. He touched the very identity. He touched the very likeness. Now, if you stumble in that likeness, he got you. If you stumble in that likeness, if you stumble in that, the, the, the foundational truth that you are in the Father and the Father is in you, the moment he touches it and you stumble, he has gotten you. Then no wonder, not sickness or any, everything will come in your life.